Hello and welcome back. Today I bring you something completely different. So I received an email just recently from um, an independent film director asking me whether I'd be interested in reviewing his film. His name's Jack Peterson and he's directed a movie called Sawgrass. Now my initial reaction when I got this email was to decline it. This channel is a book review channel and I'm not really a movie person, I'm more of a book person. So at first I wasn't going to do it but he then explained to me that it was a kind of psychedelic art film featuring these like freaky mutated Disney characters and then when he said that I thought okay uh, that kind of piqued my interest a little bit and I ended up saying yes I watched the movie and it was a very interesting experience, to say the least. Um, right, so, so the movie is called Sawgrass. It's, it's only about two years old, and it's like a full 90-minute movie slash documentary. And it features like the, these, these psychedelic scenes where you've got these animated Disney characters and you've got these strange scenes where you're kind of driving down the motorway and my, my initial reaction was like what the hell is going on um, I, I really didn't understand the film at all um, it, it became apparent that there wasn't any clear clear story or clear meaning to it now, now that's okay um, it, just after a while I decided that I was just going to have to try and dissect the scenes a little bit and try to try to decipher it all. Um, another strange thing about this movie is that in between all of the psychedelic scenes and all, all of the animations and the, and the weird stuff, there are actually snippets of an interview that, that the director himself did with um, Eric Paddock. For those of you who don't know who Eric Paddock is, he's like the brother of the Las Vegas hitman or the Las Vegas murderer who, who killed about 50 odd people back in 2017. And so, you know, when I discovered that, I, I thought, okay, what's the link? What, what's the link between a brother's murderer, uh, sorry, a murderer's brother and the, these cartoon characters. It, I, was, I was just kind of baffled by the whole thing. Um, so I, I, I've tried my best. Um, I've, I've watched it I've watched it once and this morning I kind of skimmed through it again trying to, trying to uh, decipher all of the, the many scenes and stuff. And it, you know this is what I've come up with. I might be right or I might be wrong. Um, so, you have these clips where you're driving down the motorway but you can't see the road because there's a TV there or a mobile phone. And so I'm watching it, I thought, okay, what does this mean? Um, in my opinion, that, that could mean, it, it could be a statement about TV becoming so prominent in our lives. Even if we go out for a drive down the motorway, we still can't escape TV. TV is everywhere and it's a constant distraction to us. So that's what I got from that scene. Somebody else watching it might, might get something different. I don't know, but that, that was my interpretation of the whole motorway TV scenes. Um, there, there are also a, f a few scenes in the film where the, the director, Jack Peterson himself, is kind of standing there reading what appears to be a, a script for the movie and he, he kind of reads through it in a disinterested manner 
and in one of the scenes he actually closes the script and throws it on the floor. So from that I kind of get, get the message that he's trying to perhaps tell everyone that there is no meaning to the film. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have been searching for, for a clear meaning or a point because there isn't one. He, he's, he's throwing the script down on the floor <clears throat> so it, in my eyes that, that means stop trying to work it out. There, there is no meaning. That's, that's what I got from that. Um, now, moving on to the, the interview scenes with Eric Paddock. Uh, <laughs> my initial reaction to this guy was bad. He, he comes across as very arrogant. He comes across as unsympathetic to what his brother did. And he, he just comes across as a, a general know-it-all. Upon my first viewing of this movie, I, I didn't actually like Eric Paddock. However, I did find myself looking forward to the interview clips, funnily enough. There, there are lots of them in the movie. In fact, m most of the movie does consist of the, the interview clips with Eric Paddock. And, and he's a, an entertaining guy. He, 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 he just sits there talking about his views on life, talking about this and that. He's very opinionated and yeah, he's, he's entertaining to watch. Uh, but again, what, what's the link? I, I don't really know the meaning behind any of it. Um, I've done a little bit of research on, on the Las Vegas incident since watching this movie and I've seen some of the video clips on YouTube where he's talking to the press and stuff. Um, he's not a very likeable person, but he is entertaining to watch. I'll give him that. Uh, I think the movie is probably worth watching just just for the interview clips, especially if you're interested in the whole Las Vegas incident. I think it's worth watching just for these interview clips because they are exclusive to the film, I think. that the, the director actually visited this guy and did the interview clips. So uh, it's, it's worth watching just for that, if you're into that. Um, what else can I say about this film? Uh, there, there are some beautiful visuals in it. So some of the psychedelic scenes where you've got the, the Disney characters walking around, they're, they're set in this like really colourful psychedelic scenery that really reminds me of 2001 A Space Odyssey by Stanley Kubrick. At the end of 2001 you've got these, these scenes where it looks like you're, you're seeing a negative landscape but, but in colour. I think Jack Peterson must have used the same effect or the same filters or something because it's that's what you that's what you get in some of these scenes, and they're really beautiful to look at. I did enjoy just like lying back and watching those scenes, you know. Um, so some of the road clips are, are pleasant to watch as well. You get some road clips that haven't got a TV in front of them, and you're just kind of looking at. Um, like this, this, these landscapes from Florida. Some, some of them are just like really random places, like uh, shopping mall car parks or just just open fields and stuff. But some of them are quite good. So some clips in the film are very pleasant to watch. Um, but my my main criticism is that it it feels quite listless. It, there's, a, there's a feeling in the film that there might not be any meaning to it and it, it doesn't really know what it wants to be. Again, it might just be me com be completely missing the point. I, I, a lot of the, f the movie might, might have just gone straight over my head and I just didn't understand it. Maybe I should watch it again, I, I don't know. Um, either that or that there is no meaning to it and it, it's just like a load of random clips. I hope that that's not the case, uh, but 
To be honest, I, I did struggle to find to find the actual meaning to it. Um, I, you know, that there, there's. I found myself being quite baffled throughout most of it and kind of scratching my head a bit. Um, so, can I recommend this movie to you? Um, to be honest, I can't stand here and, and recommend that you watch it because if you do, you'll watch it and think, what, what the hell is going on? And you won't be able to trust anything I say after this. Um, to, to maintain the kind of integrity of this channel, I, I can't put this on my, my list of, of recommendations. However, um, I can say that if, if you're a stoner type, if, if you like to get high or whatever, you, you probably would enjoy having, having a smoke and, and watching it. If you're into doing acid or LSD, and stuff like that, you would have a good time watching it. I can certainly say that much. So, if, if a clear, lucid plot is important to you, don't watch it. Um, if you like to have a clear meaning to a movie, don't watch it. On the other hand, if you're interested in the Las Vegas incident and you want to see more of this Eric Paddock guy, do watch it because there are some very interesting clips of him and, and the interview is quite entertaining. And if, if you're a stoner type or if you, if you do LSD or whatever and you just want something really bizarre and trippy to watch then do give it a go. You, you probably will like it. Okay, So there you have it. Sawgrass by Jack Peterson. And this movie is absolutely free to watch, by the way, on YouTube. If you just go on to, to YouTube, search for Sawgrass Movie Jack Peterson and you'll, you'll find it and it's completely free to watch. And um, the, the director, he, he's, he's told me to be completely honest about this movie as well, which I respect. He, he, didn't, he didn't contact me saying, please, can you do a positive review? please can you say that you you loved everything he, he didn't say that he said just be completely honest and I, I completely respect him for that and he, he seems like a nice guy as well um, I've, I've read one of his interviews that he did online about this movie and he comes across as a very likeable character so yeah you know check him out um, so Sawgrass so, so there, there you go um, I'd like to remind you all that there's a free gift for you if you head over to my site jamesflynn.org and uh, become a member. Head over to the members only page. Just just become a member. It, it, it takes about one minute and there's, there's a free gift for you on there for doing that. Also you can see all of my artwork, my blog and of course my books. My, my latest book being the Edge of Insanity, uh, which has got a few positive reviews now, by the way. So head over there and keep an eye out for my next video, which will be in about two weeks or so.